Let's take a couple of minutes and we'll check out the audio settings on Pioneer's DEHX 3700 UI. So from any of our sources, we're going to press in on the volume control, and we want to we want to find the audio menu. Here it is, audio, and we'll press enter. The first thing we see is our fader control. Now please note that if in the initial setup you have chose, chosen subwoofer for your rear uh, speaker outputs and rear subwoofer output, there is no fader control that will show up. Uh, so, but we have uh, full range speakers chosen for the rear speaker and so we have a fader control. So we'll press in on the volume control and we can adjust that fader control uh, from the front to the rear and whatever makes you happy there. We can press uh, the go back button and roll over to our next setting which is our balance control and we'll press enter to enter the uh, to get into the balance menu and here we can adjust from right to left and choose the setting that sounds best to you. When you're done there you can hit the back button and roll over to our next setting, which is our EQ settings. And for more information about setting up the EQ, check out the EQ settings video. We'll roll over to our next setting, which is the loudness control. And right now, loudness is switched off. If we press in on the volume control, loudness is switched on to its low setting. Touch it one more time for the mid setting, and one more time for its high setting. If I touch loudness one more time, uh, it's switched off. And we can roll over to the next setting here, here we see our subwoofer control, and right now the subwoofer control is set to its normal, uh, is switched on and set to its normal phase. Please note, if in the initial setup menu you have chosen full range for both your RCA outputs and your speaker level outputs, there is no subwoofer setting here and no subwoofer control setting. So right now we have the subwoofer switched on, and in its normal phase, if I touch in on the volume control, we have the subwoofer switched on in its reverse phase. If I touch it one more time, we have the subwoofer output turned off. So for right now, I want the subwoofer output turned on and I want the normal phase. Let's roll over to our next, next setting, which is subwoofer control. And please note that the subwoofer control setting only appears if you have the subwoofer output switched on. We'll enter into the subwoofer control setting here. And here we can choose a crossover frequency for the subwoofer. And we can choose anything from 50 up to about 200 hertz. So we'll choose uh, to set this up at 100 hertz for right now. I'll press in on the volume control and I can choose to boost or cut my subwoofer output. We'll add a little more bottom into the system there and press in on the volume control again and I can change over to my slope. Right now uh, the slope is set at 12 dB per octave. I can also make that 20, 24 dB per octave at a crossover point of 100 hertz. When you're done making those adjustments, Let's uh, hit the go back button here and we'll roll over to the next setting, which is our bass boost. We can press in on the volume control and we can put a little more bottom into the system or roll it back down to zero. We'll go back again and roll over to our next setting, which is the high pass filter setting. Uh, press in on the volume control and right now the high pass filter is set at 100 hertz. If we roll backwards here, we can choose to switch the high pass filter off and we roll in. We can uh, choose a crossover point for our high pass filter and we can choose to make that 100 hertz or maybe 125 and we can press in on the volume control and choose a slope for the high pass filter as well, either 12 or 24 dB per octave at the crossover point of 100 hertz. We can press the go back button here and roll over to our ne next setting which is the SLA or source level adjuster. And what the source level adjuster does is allows me to adjust the volume of all sources as compared to FM. So please note that if you're on the FM source, the SLA function does not appear. Right now I'm on the CD source, so we see the SLA function, and we uh, press in on the volume control. SLA for CD is now set to zero. I can make the CD volume appear to be a little bit louder as compared to FM, or it can be a little bit quieter as compared to FM. And the goal here is when I switch between sources, I should not hear a big jump in the volume. When you're done making the adjustments for each source there, we can press back and we roll over to the next setting, which is back to the beginning in our fader control. At any time, you can exit this menu by pressing the band button and you'd go out to the source. 